Okay, here's my Eakin. I'm at 6.8 volts off of my nickel metahydride battery pack. Uh, 1.2 volts each, 6, 7.2, so I'm obviously having a voltage drop because I'm pulling 600 milliamps of juice. Uh, I'm running the caffeine um, ROM. Here's my desktop. Uh, let's see what, what kind of changes we have. Okay, 600 milliampers holding steady and 6.8 volts. Go ahead, plug in my USB mouse. And there's my USB mouse. Um, wi Fi seems to be up and running. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on my swap uh, to verify. Just to give you an idea, the swap is working. Uh, type in F R E E and in any case I have zero turned on for swap back to home hit swap mouse rotates and the blah 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 have mine set to 256 megabytes of RAM. I have my swappiness set to uh, swap set to 100%. I'm running an 8 gig micro SD that averages 18, 19 uh, megabytes read per second. So it's actually a pretty fast uh, class 2 as it's labeled, but it's actually uh, running at 20 megabytes a second. It's obviously not a class 2. Uh, shop around on the web, got a good price on it. Uh, this it's going to take a little while to get the swap turned on, but again, um, once you get rooted, which caffeine has rooted, you want to enable your swap, go into here and change your configuration, set it to 256 maximum megabytes you can use for swap, and set your swappiness, which is how often it goes to the swap file, to 100%. Uh, your swap file is an advantage on and not on a Android system versus your computer hard drive. Your computer hard drive and your memory and your hard drive, there's two different speeds on those. There's a big difference between hard drive speed and um, your memory speed. This one because it actually it's memory and memory or solid state, similar to solid state memory. So obviously I'm not getting 200, but I'm getting pretty good. All right, so all done. Uh, let's go back to home. All right. Sometimes I had a, bu a bug where the mouse flips over on its own. Uh, go back to free. And type in free again. F R E E. Hit enter. And there it is 256 meg uh, of RAM. And let's go ahead and uh, check out our browser. And the difference I saw was um, when I open a browser, how long it takes to go back to home screen. Uh, I've been using my browser to test the speed on Yahoo and speed on bigger websites, how long it takes to open a website, how long it takes to close a website. Uh, there I'm in, and now we'll see how long it takes to get out. That was Xscope. As you see, it's almost instantaneous. Here's Dolphin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. There's 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. You can see the timer. Obviously, you got a timer to play with. The Dolphin get all the way up. Um, 670 milliampers so uh, Wi-Fi running that's what my expected current amperage pull is um, Opera Mini I have been having problems getting Opera Mini to go full screen for me um, I wish I could get better results from it but I'm not uh, here's Opera Mini um, Again, I should be able to double click somewhere on Opera Mini and go to minimized, but I haven't been successful with it. I've been running a couple benchmarks, and right now Xscope and Skyfire are my two fastest browser, but um, we're talking about a probably 2% difference in speed. Double click, no unzoom. Double click, no unzoom. All right, back to home. Um, here's Skyfire. Oh. Opera Mini Dolphin is regular Android browser, our default browser, uh, which overall it doesn't have a problem with uh, speed. There's no reason that 
I would uh, suggest not to stick with that one. Uh, there's my installed browsers. I just installed uh, UC, UC browser so I'll be playing with that one uh, and getting an idea how it performs. Uh, I prefer desktop um, agent over Android or any other agent because the idea is you know this is an 800 by 600 screen so take advantage of the resolution and um, get a desktop feel. Alright, there's browser and where am I going to next? Here's Skyfire. Welcome to Skyfire. Now Skyfire has a built-in swap me to mobile mode right there which is useful. Um, Xscope's got a real interesting zoom feature. You put your finger on, slide your finger or rotate your finger left to right and actually uh, helps you zoom in into an area. Uh, there's Skyfire. And let's, get, let's return to home. I see pretty much quick reaction time to go home. Let me find my, oh there's my UC web right there. Let's fire up UC web. Oh, rotational mouse. So I've, I've had problems with the other ROMs that uh, my mouse rotates, and uh, it's hard to use that way. But see how UC Web does. Let's see if it locks me in. Uh, not bad. Here's UC Web. Uh, I haven't played with UC Web uh, too much yet. Uh, I still have to run it through its paces and see how it does uh, loading up and comparing that load speed to other browsers. Uh, it's a browser just came out of China and uh, I'm running 7.2. 7.3 is out but it's in Chinese so I, I installed it. Uh, unfortunately I'm bilingual but that's not one of my extra languages. Uh, just give you an idea. Mm, Dell Arrow today from 9.9. All right, so that gives you an idea that this one does work pretty good. All right, so that was UC Web. Um, now I've opened a few of them up, so let's go ahead and take a take a look at how much uh, what, what stayed open, what's still running. So as you can see from there, these are the applications are still running: UC Web, Skyfire, Browser, Dolphin, Opera, and Xcope. So I opened my one, two, three, four, five, six browsers. My uh, free is still open and my swap is still open. Hold long click and uh, not what I wanted. I want to get into my um, I want to get into my terminal. So let's go home and let's open our terminal. With swap enabled uh, your terminal doesn't lose the information that had last had. So last time, um, I'll read it out to you. Last time, my free was 259 megabytes. So over here, I had 259 megabytes of swap file, and I had about two meg, 2.2, 2.2, 2 meg of free on my system memory. So now I'm going to type in free again. After opening six devices, uh, opening advanced task manager and opening up my terminal. Now I'm at 2.2 gig free of RAM but I'm dropped down to 187 megabytes because I'm using uh, approximately 75 meg of swap file and the advantage is that long click uh, these items stay open so anytime I click on them um, they actually pop up uh, to the page that we're on last uh, and there's a way you can tell because uh, let's see I should be able to See so UC Web. We actually clicked on a browse spot. So let's uh, open that one back up. And there it gives you a react a, an idea of uh, reaction speed. And you see it stored where I was at last. Back to there. Let's open up Xcope. And let's try YouTube. Let that load. 
Uh, YouTube, the low resolution that you can find on Slate Door, it actually does work. Um, and let me see if I can get any of these to work. Nine minutes, three minutes, 46 seconds. All right. Open up a smaller one that we don't have to wait too long. Uh, ooh, that doesn't look good. Uh, this is definitely underpowered for any kind of video related playing. Um, so, start default. Ooh, I don't have a default application set up, so I've gotten low res the low res YouTube to work. Um, see where it does for default? It actually switches over to Skyfire, and then Skyfire dumps it off to something else. It looks like Android. All right, back to the home screen. Let's fire up Skyfire. Skyfire, since that one has a built-in uh, YouTube client. Oh, that was Skyfire. Interesting. Um, search. What's this doing? Yeah, there's Skyfire. You can see a little Android popped up. Nope, guess not. Nope, nope. So let me see. Try Google Home. Guess I could try to uh, get a video to play for us. More mobile. See, it's in mobile mode, but I don't. I guess it really doesn't matter, right? As long as video works. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a pretty good long YouTube video. Visit your own web. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. See what this does. See, I have my agent set to load as desktop. So now I just need Google to let me load as desktop. Um, that's where you got to battle. Your browser wants to go mobile, and then your websites want you to go mobile. Uh, interesting, my amperage has gone up. Um, currently pulling. Now I'm up to 8.2 uh, or 820, 830 milliampers um, based on browser. Let me try this. Try going home. I'm gonna let this video play because uh, I know a lot of people are interested in just overall performance of um, of the Econ. Trying to get the Google Home so I can switch to desktop mode. Um, like I said, the websites themselves recognize when a browser is a mobile browser. Although this e can run in at um, 800 resolution by 600, you should have a better desktop experience. All right, frustration kicks in, so swapping back to going back to my desktop. <coughs> so that gives you an idea of uh, applications. Uh, web browser is pretty much one of the biggest things that we're going to play on. Uh, I still can't get Bluetooth to work. There's overall how it performs. You see, it's uh, still a little laggy, um, but it's definitely a uh, better responding system um, with better responding system with the flash enabled. Uh, I must try this. Uh, it's called XYZ. Uh, oh, this is site Droid MP4. Choose play. I'm assuming this is a cheater video because it's already loaded up by the uh, user, the maker of the actual. Uh, and I see that's not a fair video. It doesn't really show you anything. What's the purpose? Yeah, right. All right, let me get out of here. All right. Hot YXC. So again, um, 